This video is sponsored by SolidWorks Cloud Offer. A lot of you have been putting comments on my YouTube videos asking about the 3D Experience platform while I'm not a true expert in this platform because this platform is super big. I cannot claim to be an expert. I know some people at SolidWorks who are really, really expert at it and it's just a huge big blue ocean. But I can promise you this. In this video, I will ease your process and I will introduce you to where everything is, how the interface works, what kind of apps are there, how to set up your dashboard, how to run your project on this online platform from anywhere in the world and collab with your colleagues from your laptop, desktop, on the go, basically. Let's go. Okay, I want to break down this video into different chapters. Some of you may know some of the stuff. Some of you want to go over the whole video. We're going to start with chapter one, getting started with the 3D experience platform. The 3D experience platform, very short, is just like, imagine SolidWorks that runs on the cloud, that is online. You don't need to install it on your computer. You run it on a browser like Chrome or Firefox or anything else, and you can access it as long as you have access to internet. So I can work on a component here in my computer, turn it off, go to holiday to a different country, open my laptop and pick it up where I left off. So that's the advantage of working on the cloud or online. That's what you get on 3D experience platform. So having said that, let's start by trying to access the platform from point blank. I'm on the login page of the 3D experience platform, but I know a lot of you would want to come to this page and you don't have the direct link to it. So let me just start from the top, solidworks.com forward slash cloud. Click on that. You need to sign up first, then log Again, this is what you see. My name is here. And in order to get to the 3D experience platform, we go to community and we find 3D experience platform here. Click on it and then boom. Don't forget, this is already a logged in profile and I have access to almost everything to show you what's going on inside the platform. If you don't have it, you need to sign up first. It's not a free software, but those of you who do have access and want to learn it, this is how it is. Right off the bat, we are looking at our dashboard and it's on default mode. As you can see, there are different tabs. There is a default tab of getting started, learn the experience, and we could create a new tab and call it the new tab. And then we can customize this tab and put the apps that we would like to work on on a daily basis here. So when we go to our platform, we have our notifications there, our chats there. If you want to work with X shape, you can drag and drop X shape or even SolidWorks there. Everything is there and I'm going to show you how. The interesting thing is you can click on the logo on the top left corner and it just opens this set of menu for you. Let me just close everything. There are four of them, your apps, the one that you want to drag and drop it into the favorite apps, the cockpit, which I have not worked with, and my roles, which are interesting, kind of like shortcuts to some of these apps. If you pay attention to the number of apps you see here, there's a lot of them, simulations, SolidWorks, Visualize, and some of these apps don't have small arrow on their top right corner, like this one and this one, and some don't, like this and this. The ones that do can be dragged and dropped into your new tab or any tab, and they can be resized and renamed and repositioned so you can customize your own tab and put whatever you want there and create something very interesting and if you don't find it let's just click on this search bar here and type x shape then we can drag and drop x shape here it would take a while until the preview of these apps load because they're going to be looking so amazing they're not going to be white look this is our x shape this is our x studio and let's just even delete this one we don't want that and let's just say we want to create organic geometries in x shape and render it in x studio that's it so we're gonna leave it at that the customization of your dashboard so you can see all the apps that you have and you can drag and drop them here if you go to the roles they're kind of like categories for example if i go to 3d sculptor it would give me the tools that are related to the sculptor tool like x shape derives format converter and welcome there is an app for it so these are like let's just go to render 3d x studio 3d creator we have x design which is the equivalent of solidworks only running on cloud very equal and we also have the one-on-one -on -one version of the solidworks which can only run if you install the local version of 3d experience platform called the 3d experience launcher on your PC, then you can launch your SolidWorks on the cloud in the browser and it looks identical with SolidWorks that you know. All right, 3D Experience Platform is running on the cloud. And one of the advantages that you get an online software is communication and collaboration between teams and team members. If I click on these two guys, communities here, um, you could see some of the people that I am in touch with. I am, for example, talking with Matthew, I can send him a message or we could collab on a project together. That is, I 
I create something, you see that network reconnecting and my connection. And it is not because my connection is bad, it's because that I'm connected to VPN. When you're connected to a VPN, your servers might run slower. That's why you get connection issues. You don't lose anything. Your components will still be there. Even if your computer shuts down in the middle of your modeling, when you turn it on, the last thing you have done is auto save and you can access it. But it's only the very last thing. It's just a temporary save until you can retrieve your model when you turn on your computer again or access it from a different computer. Anyways, I was saying with people, you can add a post. There is a forum there. Uh, you can ask your questions. You can collab on models. You could leave a comment on your model and ask someone, tag him. If you want to learn how to work with Xshape, how to design organic geometries, polygon based on like SolidWorks, which is amazing. Link in the description. There are two videos to that. Go check them out. So far, we customized our dashboard. Let's see what else we can do in this platform. If I click on my own name, I can go to my profile and I can add the information about myself so other people can see where I am and what I do. For example, my email, my phone, add a website. I could do this. Why not? Let's just add my own website. In the about section, I can add skills, languages, interests, and education and work experience. Network, you can see who I have in my network and I need to add more people to it. Soon I have many cool people in my network. And account settings, what can be seen by other people changing password to factor authentication and send validation emails. This is all accessible when I go to my own profile, which is here. This is what you can do when you click on your profile and you customize it. Now, if you don't want other people to see if you're online or not to bother you, you could just set it as busy, appear away, offline, just like a normal chat box. Cookies, my profile preferences. Let's just go to preferences and we have the language setting and mouse control. If you want, oh, that's amazing. You get to pick the default settings of 3D experience, Cadia or SolidWorks. I'm a SolidWorks guy, so I love this. This goes for, I like the way you manipulate 3D views with your mouse and 3D viewing and modeling apps. For example, Xshape or Xdesign, everything works like SolidWorks. This is amazing. This is a good one. We can create a new dashboard. We can have multiple dashboards or we could create a new tab and add it to the current dashboard. That is summed up under this plus sign over here. This is the share button. So you can share your tab or share your dashboard. Let's just share our tab to um, Matthew. Matthew is going to kill me and he's going to be like, what are you sending me, man? Now he's added. Anyway, and I'm not going to click on share because obviously it will share it with him and it's no use to him. So if you want to share your tab with someone or share your whole dashboard, you can. This is a tab. Everything you see here is a tab. If I click on this button, I go back to the tab we were working on and customizing, if you remember. Also, I could minimize this. I could maximize this. All of that. Everything is so quick and easy. Do not click on back because we are running on cloud and this is a browser. We don't want to go back. Everything is happening within one link over here. If you want to go back, just make sure to close these tabs and automatically you would go one layer lower where you used to work. If somebody sends you a message or answers your question on a forum or likes your comment, just like a social media, once you log in, you can talk to other cat designers. You can work on your projects, save them, share them. You can do a lot of things, okay? It's like an office that runs on your browser. It gives you the tools to SolidWorks, rendering tools, SketchUp tools, and many, many other tools. The good thing about this platform is that you don't need to carry your computer with you. You don't need to have a license on your desktop computer where you work and on your laptop when you go home. You just need internet access and you can work on the model with other team members from a laptop from far, far away. So this is a huge plus for teams that are working on one common project, like startups. A lot of times those startups are working with what they know and what they already have. They don't have time and the resources to just go and research and get the best of everything. You can take it to the startup you're going to work in and tell them if we get an extra license for X number of users for 3D experience platform for our team, we could collab in different situations from different locations. So if Mr. X wants to be at home office working, they still can be available. He can still send his model in a fraction of a second. We can iterate it, send it back to him, put our comments there. So this is valuable in those terms. Okay.
Before I wrap this video up, let me just put you at ease because the number of apps you get on a 3D experience platform is so much that it could be overwhelming. It was to me as well. And you might want to consider how do I work with compare? What is collaborative tasks? These are all valid questions. Let's just click on X Studio. I have not worked with X Studio, for example. I don't know how it works and I don't want to just go back to YouTube and search for a tutorial on how to work with it. The good thing is almost every app you click on has guided tour. You click on guided tour. There are some tutorials for you. Click that. So there is a pop-up. Try to modify your scene, rotate the viewer to adjust the camera. Okay. I just rotate it. We know our rotation is just like SolidWorks. I did rotate it. Should I rotate it even more? Oh, oh, I have to make it like this. Got it. I have to fit it on here. Ha. That's a good practice. Oh, it's not easy. Hey, I got it. <laughs> Apply these changes to reflect them in your camera scene. Just did. Now let's create an ambience for your scene. So we click that to create an ambience. To specify the properties of the ambience, select next. Exposure to one, create. Time to render your scene. Um, save render. Let's look at the status of the render. The render job is done. Select the render job and option to download your scene. Download. Boom. It was actually the very first time I worked with X Studio. Look how fast I made it happen. That's the power of the guided tours inside each app. I think I just this, we call it Qolab. <laughs> like I create a hook, you put your feet on my hand and you can pull yourself up the wall. And this is what this video is supposed to do. Good. If you have any questions, make sure to put your questions in the comment section below this video. And I'm going to put the link to 3D Experience Platform, who are the sponsor of this video, by the way, which is solidworks.com forward slash cloud. So you can go and play with it and see how it is. Okay, guys, I just wanted to talk to you uh, sincerely. I don't write scripts for my videos. As you can see, look, if you don't believe me, my teleprompter, which I use for my webinars because they're one hour or so long, I need it for that. But right now I'm not using any scripts. I just wanted to sincerely thank you for watching my videos. My channel just hit the 100,000 subscriber. It's been a long journey since 2011 that I have been on YouTube on and off. But right now I'm very active on it and I try to give you true value whenever I can. If I see an opportunity, whether it's for SolarWorks or if it's something related to SolarWorks, maybe a 3D printer, 2D drawing software, anything, I would just try to make a video about it and help you with that. As for the SolarWorks skills itself, I have covered everything there is to cover on my channel so you can find it. I already have a full-on course, SolidWorks Course Pro, link in the description as well. If you want to become a master in SolidWorks and become a certified SolidWorks professional as well. But I'm not going to repeat myself over and over again because SolidWorks has reached an equilibrium and they have almost made every tool ideal. There are no big changes in SolidWorks 2023. There are some interface changes every time they update, but the base and the foundation of SolidWorks is the same. So if you watch my older tutorials, they are still valid and they will still help you. And I want you to do that because if you have a visual mind and a good understanding of a 3D object that you can understand 3D good, you need to master a software. And the reason for that is not just to get a job or make a lot of money. These are all byproducts of that. You need to do that because you need to have a software in your back end as a second nature. Because if you have a creative mind if you want to create a solution you don't have to deal with the bottlenecks of the software if you're working with SolidWorks I want to create this model but I can't technically I don't know what tools to use and that just kills your idea that should be eliminated you need a big bridge between your idea and realizing your idea bringing your idea to life and that bridge is the level of your skill in SolidWorks or 3d experience platform or any other software you use and if you choose to work with 3D Experience Platform or SolidWorks, then I'm the best source to go to and learn. If you're working with, I don't know, Fusion 360, good for you. Go find the best source and master that. Don't let it be a bottleneck for your visions and ideas because the world needs more creators and I'm here helping you get there faster. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I think it's time to do so. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Share this with a friend and hope to hear from you. Just post your questions even if it's just a hi i will say hi back take care and i'll see you in my next video while you're choosing what to watch next let me tell you i lost my new glasses these are the old ones and i have to go get a new one again